Welcome guys to my channel, Unpretentious Bourbon. Uh, my name is Mike, and I'd like to thank you for subscribing or checking me out. Um, this channel is going to be a little different than some of the ones you've seen, and I've looked through the internet in my young bourbon journey. I've been kind of getting into bourbon all my life, but like really hardcore, I guess you could say, in the last two years, um, where I've really enjoyed the journey and kind of tried to learn as much as I can and treated it like a journey. I wanted to start a page that uh, I kind of tell you what my vision is I and I'm not knocking other people who do this um, you know each each his own each style how you present how you uh, talk about the products that you're reviewing it's all up to you um, I just didn't want to come off um, pretentious like I know everything about it and um, I feel like some of the reviews that I've watched whether they want to or not kind of come off that way to where like they know something that we all don't and so I wanted to kind of go from like more of a average guy and use layman terms to kind of describe some of the things that I like about bourbon you know that are important to me um, so I, what do I like what, what do I like about about bourbon you know I like that each one's different I like that they have a story um, you know each one has a different profile they're going to give you a little bit something different every time. My personal preference as far as bourbon goes, I like higher proof. I like 90 and above. And I I like the fact that my bourbon challenges me and or the, the, the kind that I pick challenges me. What I mean is by that is I like the bite. I like the heat. Um, I'm not a guy who says, oh, I really want a smooth bourbon. I want more smooth. I don't understand that really. I mean... If I want smooth, I'll drink a strawberry daiquiri or a glass of milk. I, I want my bourbon to bite back. You know, there's days where I need to be, you know, maybe beaten down a little bit, and I need something to 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 kick my ass a little and to challenge me, to challenge my palate, and to, um, I mean, it's alcohol afterwards. I mean, it's alcohol. So um, that's kind of where I am with that, and I, so I do tend to migrate to the higher proofs, really like the hundred and above, but nineties right. Where I, I like the minimal, minimal do. There's some lower proofs that I like, but um, not as often. Um, so what are the terms that, that I'm going to use to describe, you know, bourbon to you guys is, is more layman's terms, you know? And that's kind of where I think the pretentiousness comes from when it comes to a lot of these reviews is you hear people talk about the types of wood that they taste and the different specific spices, you know, like... English coriander, you know, for example, I don't know, but just, I don't know how you can get that specific. And it just comes off to me when you go drill down that far and you're pulling things out, like rosemary and thyme and, and, and it, it, it comes off as a, like a little, like really to me. Um, and I'm not discounting that, but I, to me, I just say it's, I, it's got a nice spice and it's got a sweet spice or it's got a peppery spice or it's got a vanilla hint to it you know oakiness those are all things that i can see i mean it's charred wood and sugars alcohol and so sweetness and all those things make sense to me um so i'll use those types of terms as and I'm, i'll steer away from the, the individual spices and things like that um one of the other things too is i like to describe it as you know I like my bourbon to have some meatiness to it. Like, you know, when you like when you bite into a good steak, like a really good steak, you know, that that juiciness and that tenderness and that that flavor stays with you for a while. So when I when I describe that, it's more like, you know, does it have legs? Does it does it give does it have legs? Is it gonna that flavor gonna keep going or is it gonna be thin? Um, so I'll try to keep things very simple and um, descriptive, but not overly done. Um, so that's kind of the the terms I'd like to use with that um, price what do I like in price now one thing I've learned about bourbon is there are some great bourbons that are expensive don't get me wrong I mean um, but there are also some great bourbons that are cheap and I think people get a little too bogged down on it has to be pricey it has to be 60 70 80 90 dollars a bottle to be any good and boy those $20 bottles I thumb my nose at it or I use it as a mixer or if anything that's simply not true um, I've had great bourbons that are 20 bucks, $14. Um, for one, for instance, and I'll review that later down the road, is, um, you know, Evan Williams' Bottled and Bond is, is fantastic. 
and it's 19 bucks a bottle. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. And if you're just getting into this hobby, thinking that you have to, you know, go for the you know, sky to ceiling of huge, huge amounts of money for bourbon, you don't have to. Um, do your research, listen to people, and um, you know, but also form your own opinion. You know, there's a lot of been a lot of things that I've listened to that I'm like, I wish I would not have because I really enjoy that. So don't get hung up on price, uh, high or low. You know, I typically like to stay in the 15 under range, but I have gone, you know, now here lately, I'm in the 70, 80 range uh, every once in a while. But I like to get more bang for my buck. You know, I'm not a rich guy by any means, so. Um, I like to keep things a little bit more frugal or <laughs> budget friendly. Um, so yeah, so the goal of this is to just kind of, and I'm sorry if this is going to be long winded, but it's my first broadcast. So I'm just trying to get the ground roll work, uh, ground rules out, kind of let you guys know where I'm coming from on this. So hopefully it helps you in your journey um, and explain some things to you that you may have been wondering, or, you know, I wish someone would have asked that, or I wish if someone would simplify that. Um, so my goal is to do something every week, um, maybe twice a week if I can. I do work, so um, <laughs> you know, and I have a family, so it's a little hard. Um, so I'll try to do something every week and review uh, something and give you my take on it. Um, also, guys, uh, I'm always open to suggestions, so drop those in the comments and please subscribe. Tell your friends, man. Um, I just want to kind of get this going and see where it goes from uh, from here. I'm not expecting much, uh, and hopefully I get better at this, but this is my first shot at it. So um, I want to thank you for even getting this far, um, and hopefully I can help you, you know, make some decisions in your life, uh, your bourbon journey that, you know, I wish someone would have told me, or I wish I would have listened to something different. So my first review is going to be this guy here. I picked this up at Kroger. It's made, made by uh, Sazerac. Um, it is made exclusively for Kroger. I thought this was like really cool. I've never seen it before, so I had to try it. Um, it's Stonehammer. Um, there's no age on this, so I'm not really sure um, what the age on this, if it's three, four, a four-year bourbon. Um, the color on it, if you want to kind of look at it, it's semi, it's not too dark. I mean, it's right in the middle there, kind of. And I'll, I'll pour some in here, um, and we'll get a little taste going here. But um, it's 90 proof, so it's right at my threshold where I like. It's uh, made in Kentucky. Um, so I'm going to crack this bad boy open and we're going to use uh, one of my favorite glasses. I mean, I have my Glencairn glass right here, but I like to use um, these dram, four ounce dram glasses. Um, I started using these when I went on a tour to Peerless in Kentucky and they do use these glasses as their testers for their uh, bourbon tasting. And I thought, wow, this just feels great in the hand. Um, it's not so big and cumbersome and it just kind of narrows things where I like it. And it's it's really my go-to glass. I got that on Amazon. Um, I think they're like 30 bucks for two. They come from England. so But they're really well built. Really, I highly recommend these glasses. So let's get into it and do a little pour and see what the see what we got here, guys. Well, yeah, right off the bat, that looks a little, little light to me in the glass. Um, uh, I'm going to try to put up this here so if you guys can see it um, color-wise. I'm not sure if that's going to come through. But it's a little light, but that doesn't normally mean, you know, I do like a little darker sometimes, but flavor's flavor, and we're going to find out. So I'm going to give this a nose and see what I come up with. Now, when I do that, one thing I learned, too, is to keep your mouth open a little bit, too, so you breathe in through your nose and your mouth, so you can kind of get that whole experience as opposed to just through the nose. Um, it just enhances it a little bit better. It's not too overpowering as far as the nose goes. Um, definitely have some spice, and it definitely has an alcoholish, uh, alcohol uh, scent to it. You know, like that, that you can smell the alcohol. Not a lot going on there. A little bit of spice. Uh, kind of has a, a little sweet aroma to it, too. Um, not bad. Um, not overpowering and not over like ooh, but we'll see how it tastes you know that's the proofs in the pudding how it tastes so yeah not bad very mild very mild um let's give it a taste shall we hmm 
That is actually pretty darn good. Um, definitely has a sweet hint to it. Definitely vanilla, I will say that. There's definitely a vanilla sweetness to it. Very subtle spice. More of like a peppery spice. Um, really good. Um, it lingers a little bit on the tongue. So I like that. And it does coat the glass. You know, it's still staying on the glass here. So my overall impression so far is pretty tasty. It's not too overpowering heat wise. Um, it's kind of right there where I like it, but a little bit less. So it has some bite and it's going to kick back a little bit, but not a lot. Um, but I wouldn't call it smooth. Um, it's definitely not super smooth. Um, I think it's just about right, but a little bit less. Let's try a little again. Yeah, that's, man, that's really good. The second time around, um, it, it tastes a lot more flavorful than I would have, if, you know, looking at the color and, and the nose. I expected okay, you know, something okay, but this is pleasantly, extremely tasty. I mean, this is, I think it's going to get me into trouble. I might, <laughs> might do a little bit more of this than I should. Um, has a real good mouth feel. Um, and it just rolls around there real nice. Um, it's a joy to drink. This is a real a good, good bottle. Um, so if you're a Kroger, um, and I live in Michigan, by the way, so this came from Kroger in Michigan and it was, like I said, 22 bucks a bottle. So a huge bargain here, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, 22 bucks for this kind of a good flavor sold. Um, but I'm not sure if it's all over that every Kroger in every state can get this, but if you see it for 22 bucks, I scarf one up. I definitely get one. Um. It's really good, guys. Um, I hope that helps. I mean, but like I said, the flavors are great. Um, definitely has some uh, complexity, you know, co complex flavors in there. But I'm not going to go crazy and tell you all that other stuff. It just has a lot of some good meatiness to it, you know, good meatiness. It has a lot of legs on the end, so it's going to stay with you. You know, flavors right there. Hits your palate really well. And it, I think it's a great balance of the sweetness and again, the peppery spice, all the things that you would like in a like a a, a bourbon, you know, like a, the bite of a bourbon, uh, that that taste of a good bourbon, a bourbon with not too much, uh, you know, oakiness. Although I like that, um, it's it just seems like a perfectly balanced bit of everything in here. Nothing's overdone. Um, I'm glad I got it. I think this is fantastic. If you if you can uh, if you've had a review on this or you have any input on that. You know, hit me up in the comments if you got any uh, more questions. Let me know. But um, guys, this is great. Uh, I'm gonna take another sip if you guys don't mind. And cheers to you. Oh man, that's that's just good, man. That's just good. And like I said, it's it's a, the more I'm looking at it, the more light it is. So I'm really surprised that I'm getting this kind of complexity from a light this this light of a of a, um, a bourbon. So. Pleasantly surprised. So, as I think that's gonna do it for me, uh, I'll try to post something uh, again maybe this week. I do have an Instagram channel, so it is uh, Unpretentious Bourbon. That's the name of it. Um, but subscribe, hit the subscribe button, comment if you'd like, tell your friends. I'll try to get better at this and you know get more interesting. Um, but for right now, I like to keep it as simple as possible. I think the more frills you add more it takes away so I want to be more compact and precise so my next ones I won't have to ramble so much it won't be my first one so we'll get this down to you know four minutes five minutes tops anything more I, I get kind of think it gets, gets kind of lost um, so I want to thank you guys for uh, if you've made it this far I want to thank you if you've subscribed um, I want to thank you if you have great comments for me um, and I appreciate your time I know you know it's you have a lot of choices, a lot of things you can click on, but I appreciate you choosing me. I appreciate you listening to me. I hope you guys have a great night, great day. I hope things go well for you, and salute. Happy drinking. <laughs>